He jumped on my thumb. You see him, Daisy? Do not jump on my face. I will really scream. It's Friday the 13th, and there's supposed to be a full moon tonight as well, so that's kind of crazy. <laughs> we'll be practicing over the weekend for sure. That's pretty easy, dude. Let's go, get behind! Slam! Let's go! Oh, gosh. Come on, call it! Good morning, guys. It's Friday. And I just got a why is it always so bright? I just got a phone call from Xander School saying that their power is out and it's supposed to be back on in the next two hours. So I'm like, should I take him to school or should I keep him at home? I don't know. I'm sure they'll have it back on soon. And then while it's off, you guys probably won't do any schoolwork and it'll just be a fun day. Okay? Yeah. And then after I drop off Xander, I'm going to take this guy to the orthodontist. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Jacob is due for an adjustment today, which means he'll probably oh be God, sore for the next couple of days. Bye, dude. Have a good day. Bye, have a good day. Love, you. Love you. So I just thought about this, guys, but I didn't want to say it in front of Xander. But the power is out at his school, and it's Friday the 13th, and there's supposed to be a full moon tonight as well. So that's kind of crazy. <laughs> Does that scare you? Yeah. Do you even know what Friday the 13th is? Yeah earlier when I was talking about it he's like I don't know what that means I'm like well they say when the 13th falls on a Friday that it's bad luck but I don't believe they are super proud of you dude why no broken wires or blackets well we got a little dry slobber on the face <laughs> from sleeping so oh that's so gross just add more slobber to it yes they were so proud because you had no broken brackets we don't have to come once a week like we used to and you get extra points because you're wearing a Texan jersey. Yeah. Jacob is going to learn how to put rubber bands in his mouth. He has to wear them for the next six weeks. Okay. So hold the mirror where you can see. We're going to come up here to his hook. Do you see it? So you're going to hook it. Open really big. You're okay. going to come back here to this very last bracket. Okay. That's why I lied. Do you want to do the other side? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, we'll be practicing over the weekend for sure. That's pretty easy, dude. From one hook to the other. All right. Does it feel weird? That appointment took forever. Jacob has a test in his first class, and we're already like 10 minutes late, but he should be able to finish it later on today, hopefully. Um, but yeah, they put a new wire in on the bottom and when she was doing it, she ended up breaking a bracket off and then we had to wait for the orthodontist to come put it back on. So that's why it took longer than it was supposed to. And then he got his rubber bands that he is not liking at all. He has to take them off before he eats and then puts new ones on and then before he brushes his teeth and then has to put new ones on. So he has to wear them all the time and he has to get used to putting on them on himself because at school, you're gonna have to do that. You understand? Can I bring a mirror to school? Like, in my lunch kit, like a small one? You shouldn't have to. Like, we'll practice. We have a three day weekend. I'm gonna make you do it by yourself and practice. I have and then for today. You should. Well, are you gonna do it today? No. So, I was just taking my recycle out and noticed that there was like a tree frog inside my recycle bin and he like fell down to the bottom. So, now I'm trying to find him because I was trying to save him, but I took everything out. And I can't find them. So I have like this box of recycled stuff. So I guess I'm going to have to dig through here to see if he's in here. I found him, guys. He was in this box. Look how cute he is. I came to save you, little guy. You want out? I know you're scared. Come on, little guy. Come out. <laughs> Let's see if I can grab him. Oh, there he goes. Daisy, you see the... Oh, you jumped the wrong way, silly. <laughs> he is freaking out. Come here. He jumped on my thumb. You see him, Daisy? Do not jump on my face. I will really scream. You cannot have him, Daisy. Hi, little guy. You are so cute. <laughs> He's so cute. I don't want to look at your butt. Turn around. So I just finished the cake that I received the order for yesterday on their real tree and camo. And I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I had to get the edible image as I explained to you guys yesterday 
and I thought I had enough of the edible image to wrap entirely around the cake but then I soon found out that I was like short by like this much so thankfully I had a little bit of scraps because I had to cut the top off because it was too tall and so I just had to do some patchwork and I'll point it out to you guys and I'm sure you'll be able to see it but if you didn't know it was there I don't think that they'll be able to notice but this was a last minute order and um, I think it turned out really cute. So here it is. There is that real tree edible paper that I was talking about. Uh, let's see if we can find. See there's one seam that met up which you can barely see. And then where's the other seam that has some patchwork. It is right there. It's more noticeable down at the bottom. But it's not the front of the cake and I still think it looks okay. What do you guys think? I have one more cake that I need to complete and I'm trying to get all my cakes done today because we're going to dinner tonight with some friends. So I want the cakes done prior to that because it always seems like whenever I have plans on the weekend to go hang out with friends or go out to dinner, I'm always like, we gotta hurry up and get home because I have a cake to finish. Or you know, if I don't hurry home, then I'm up until like two o'clock in the morning working on it. So I'm really hoping to get it done before going to dinner tonight. Um, I did stay up till 12.30 last night working on the other order so that I did get most of it done and I'm pretty sure I'll have it done in the next couple of hours. The hardest part was um, it's a new kids on the block cake and she wanted the silhouette of the singers on top of the cake like standing up. So it was hard to find silhouettes online for one and then Eric had to do a lot of editing because it wasn't a silhouette picture it was just a picture of them and then he had to you know delete all the background and turn it into a silhouette and then trying to cut it out and then cut it out of gun paint. it was just <laughs> it's it was hard it was harder than i thought it was going to be but i think it's going to turn out really cute so here is the silhouette of the singers they were these two were connected but i separated them just because it was it felt like it was more flimsy but they're pretty hard already and I just made it last night. So they are going to be standing on top of the cake. I'm on my way to go pick up Xander from school and thankfully um, his power came back on shortly after I dropped him off from school. I think it was like not even an hour later and I got a message saying that it was back on so that's good. I was kind of concerned because I did not pack his lunch this morning because he likes to buy lunch on Fridays. Um, they usually have like, I think they call it Big Daddy Pizza or something that he really likes. And then they always have like a treat that the kids can purchase as well. So obviously without power or a working generator, they were not going to be able to cook for the kids. So I thought I was going to have to go pick them up before lunch. But thankfully that wasn't the case. Jacob and I are on our way to go watch Colin and Carson wrestle. They're like in a championship match tonight. We can't stay too long because we have dinner plans, but we're gonna go for at least an hour because I've been wanting to watch them wrestle. Just every time they have a wrestling tournament, we're always busy with something else. And guess what? We're busy tonight as well. But I am going to make time for it. I pretty much have finished up my cakes and then we're gonna head over here for an hour and then go have fun with our friends at dinner. So watching all this wrestling, Jacob has decided that he wants to start wrestling too. <laughs> what is that, dude? <laughs> He's like, no, I'll just stick to baseball. <laughs> I'm like, please don't wrestle. I can't imagine watching my children do this. I don't know how Hannah does it. It's so nerve-wracking. Colin's about to fight. And we got some good front row seating. Go Colin. They have three rounds that are a minute apiece. <laughs> Collins in the blue, guys. Yep, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get behind. Slam. Let's go. Come on, Collins. Break him down. So Collins wearing a red band around his leg. So up there on the scoring, he has two points. Go, Grail, go. Go. Out of bounds. Yeah. I don't hear you cheering, dude. Like, I don't hear you cheering. <laughs> Come on, Colin! Break him down! 
15 seconds, Colin. What the hell? Keep that arm. What the hell? Colin, get the half. Man, she out of bounds again. Let's, let's not get the half. Seven seconds left. Let's go, Colin! Get the hat! He won that round. Colin got two, the other kid got nine. Intense. I'm really glad that you don't want to wrestle. Watch this, guys. Watch me. I did this in the mirror at school, and it's cool. Watch. <laughs> we, we missed you. Do it again. I didn't no, know what you were doing. <laughs> I really think that Xander would probably enjoy wrestling. Well, you don't want to get broken arms. No, I don't. I can't. I don't know how Hannah watches her kids wrestle because it's so nerve wracking. I can like, watch. I'm holding my breath the entire time. But. Unfortunately, we did not get to watch Carson wrestle because we had to leave. I smell like coconut from my um, deodorant. My deodorant smells like coconut. Where are we parked? Um, so yeah, Colin was match number seven and Carson was number 17. So I was hoping that the matches prior to Carson's would be quick, like they got 10 and go by quickly, but it, it didn't, obviously. They were on match 10, so they still had seven more to go. Where did we park? I have no idea. 